Hello everyone, greetings from Zurich and welcome to my channel. If you haven't met, my name is Deniz and today I'm going to show you my first Turkish recipe video. Have you ever visited Turkey? If you ever visited, you must have seen a lot of different types of dolma and sarma. Turkish cuisine is famous for them. Well, uh, dolmas are stuffed veggies and sarmas are wrapped things. Some of them served hot, some cold, but they all taste really good. Today I'm going to show you how to make kabak dolması, which would be stuffed zucchini in English. And uh, it is one of my favorite meals since I was a little kid. And uh, making dolma might seem like a lot of work, but actually it's easier than you think. Let me show you how to make it. Let's get cooking and let's get some kabak dolması. Here are the ingredients. 5-6 big zucchinis, a half cup of rice, 250 gram of ground beef, one large onion, a half cup of tinned tomatoes, a half cup of olive oil, a half cup of water, a half bunch of dill and parsley, one tablespoon of dried mint, two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, five, six cherry tomatoes, and for its sauce, we need a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of tomato paste, and one, two cups of water. Let's start with rice. Wash the rice with plenty of water and drain well. Chop the onions into small pieces. Cut the zucchinis both ends and peel the zucchinis. You can use a peeler or just a fork to peel them a bit. Let's shortly rinse them again. Let's cut them in half. Check if they can nicely stand. Now it's the tricky part. Remove the core to hollow out the zucchinis we are gonna make room for the stuffing. For this, I recommend you to get a corer like this. I bought this wooden one from Turkey and it's really easy to use. But a corer like this plastic one here also works just fine. As you can see, I've tried using spoons as well. It works, but it hurts bad, so I wouldn't say I like it. Now gently scrape the sides of the zucchini, but try not to poke the bottoms. But it sometimes happens, and if it happens, cover it like this. Lightly salt the zucchinis and poke them with a knife 2-3 times. And don't forget to save the zucchinis flesh. There are tasty recipes that you can use them. Chop the parsley and dill finely. I'm just gonna use half of this pepper, I'm gonna chop it finely. Okay, now the stuffing. In a large bowl, add the ground beef, onion, rice, fresh parsley and dill, tomatoes, pepper, salt, dried mint, olive oil, water and black pepper. And now mix them to combine well. Now comes the stuffing part. Fill the zucchinis gently. Keep in mind that rice will expand, so try not overstuff them. If you have some leftover stuffing, you can stuff a pepper like me. Place them nicely in the cooking pan and put the cherry tomatoes on top of them. Finally, let's prepare the sauce. Add a tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of salt and a cup of warm water in a cup and stir them well until well combined. Then pour the sauce over them. You can add some more water, but not too much. Place your pan on the stove and cook it over medium-high heat until the sauce starts boiling and then turn the heat to low and let it cook until the zucchinis are soft and tender. It takes around 50 to 60 minutes. And your kabak dolması is ready. Remove the pan from the stove and serve hot. Serve it with a spoon of plain yogurt. Eguete, enjoy your meal, afiyet olsun. Our dolma is cooked, let's try it. I always eat it with a spoon of plain yogurt. There we go. Okay, this is last. <laughs> mm. These zucchinis are loaded with ground meat, rice, tomatoes, um, onion, fresh herbs. This is pretty much a meal in itself. You're gonna love this dolma, it's absolutely wonderful.
I hope you try it. It is the fresh dill that makes this dolma so much better, so make sure you add it. I usually cook large portions and then I take small portions out and reheat them separately. It wasn't so hard, was it? No. So, thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you like my video, please don't forget to give me a big sweet thumbs up below. And um, I will see you in my next video. Stay healthy, stay safe. Cheers! Bye-bye!